Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With Outlook, you can create public folders to which you can post public conversation topics or any type of item that Outlook can store in its normal folders, like email, calendars, and tasks. This is a terrific feature to use for setting up meetings, scheduling your employee shared tasks, and posting general information topics into a folder that you want to have be accessible to the people on your network. To benefit from this feature, however, you do need to use Outlook with a Microsoft Exchange server on your network. To select and view a public folder, you must click the All Public Folder in the Folders list. You can view the Folders list in 2003 by clicking the Folder List button at the bottom of the navigation pane. If you have public folders already created inside this folder, you'll see a little plus sign appear next to the All Public Folders folder. Click the plus sign to view the public folders that have already been created. You can then click on one of the public folders in the list to view its content. To create a new public folder, click the All Public Folders folder in the folder list to select it. Then create by clicking File, New, and Folder a new public folder. You should see the Create New Folder dialog box appear, and in this dialog box you must type in the name for your new folder into the Name text box. Next, you have to use the drop-down for the Folder Contains text box to select what type of contents your new public folder should contain. It could have calendar items, contact items for a shared contacts folder, journal items, mail and post items, note items, or task items. So here we're going to have a shared conversation in a discussion kind of bulletin board posting forum. And so in that case, I would choose mail and post items so people can post topics and comments and responses. And then I would just simply click OK. That'll then place your new public folder into the folder list where you inserted it. And Outlook will prompt you to add a shortcut to your Outlook bar if you're using 2000 or 97. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.